At the Not Westminster event with Councillor David Harrington. David, I was really interested in something you said in the last session there about the fact that your councillor caseload had massively increased as a result of your social media presence. Do you want to tell me a bit more about that? Well, by engaging online, you're engaging with potentially an audience that are not normally engaged with through traditional methods. So as well as servicing people who, as well as servicing residents who engage with traditional methods, the ward newsletters, the ward surgeries, etc. There's an audience out there that particularly engage online. And there's, you know, I'm conscious of well, people's working patterns. And uh, people don't always work from nine till five. Social backgrounds, also as well family backgrounds, uh, schooling, and all, all those pressures in a modern day life uh, that people find it difficult uh, to, to, to to fit into that you know traditional nine to five area. I made a presence on online. Uh, it, it's proven to be to be successful. So I've not given up the traditional methods of engagement. This is in addition. So yes, I have taken on additional workload and I think it's productive and rewarding to do that. So by by actually, you know, doing the, 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 the Twitter, the Facebook type of engagement, the Skype engagement, uh, the Instagram engagement, which over recent weeks followers on Instagram is increasing and I wonder if that's been because of the recent media traction around Twitter, uh, the way that Twitter's actually going to display timelines potentially in the future. So to me it, it's been productive, worthwhile and also as well you know you're having that engagement type of conversation with people and I believe as well as having a rounded conversation with people so to actually say it's not all politics, you know this is what I'm involved in as well, this is what I like, this is what I don't like and just having a, a general conversation with people that I would do with friends and family. So what, what would you you say to councillors who are not using social media why should they get into it look at what how people like myself there's some good other people out there Anthony McEwen, Jane Cowan, uh, Alison Handers, Barry Kirby from Gloucestershire all good people that are using social media uh, to the very extremes to engage with people Adrian Robson is another another one they're all good people uh, that are using social media to actually branch out and engage with people uh, for the benefit of democracy and also for the benefit of the community. So would you say that councillors who are not doing social media are probably not doing their jobs properly? No, I would never say that about any member. Uh, it's, a, it's an individual choice if members wanted to use social media or not. There will be some people who will never, some people, you know, it'd be sad if we're all of the same life. Uh, the same outlook, but you know, we've got to recognise everybody has a different personality, different what they're comfortable with, what different skills to have. But certainly, people who have come along to me, I've been happy with members uh, from any political party uh, to show them how to use social media. Uh, and I've, I've done that here today uh, at the session with, uh, with, with different members from different, pers uh, from different political parties. And it is that understanding of what social media is. Some people think, oh, it's the, 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 the dreaded death nail. They don't like it, but I think people need to have that little bit of understanding of what it is and just try and overcome those barriers. Some people definitely will not use it. I can understand that, and that is a personal choice. But I will never ever criticise a member that has made a choice not to use it.